Okay, so we're going to do some work on bearings now, just to kind of see uh, how that works. Now, what we've got to remember about bearings is um, that they are a measure of turn from facing one position to another. And the way we tend to think about it is that we always think of facing north to start with. And it's the amount of turn we make in degrees in a clockwise direction to face another direction. So I might be at a position A and I might have turned say 125 degrees to face B so we say the bearing of B from and that's a really important bit from A so in other words I'm stood at A and I'm looking now at B I turned 125 degrees after facing north first to be on a bearing of 125 North has always got a bearing of three digits, zero, 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 to remind us that in our bearing answers we should always be working with three digits, uh, three whole number digits, uh, three. So 125 degrees. So let's have a look at kind of a question they could ask us then. So we've got two boats here, uh, P and Q, and they're telling us that the bearing of another boat is from P is 060 degrees. So the idea here is that we get a tractor and we line up now it's from P so I put the protractor at P and I line up zero with the north line and I count round 60 degrees so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and put a mark down at 60 degrees so I know where to line my ruler up now I'm not sure where this other boat is all I know is on this bearing of 60 degrees so I just draw a long line not quite knowing where it is, I just know it's on that line somewhere. So we measured an angle of 60 degrees because of the bearing 0, 060 in the clockwise direction. It then tells me in the question that the boat is also on a bearing of 310 degrees from Q. So now I'm going to put my protractor at Q. Um, I line up 0 again with the north line but I notice that I can only measure 180 degrees with this protractor but I do know that's 180 coming in a clockwise direction to that point so if I turn my protractor around then line up the 180 point I measured then I know that to get to 310 then I have to do 310 take away 180 I need to do another 130 degrees. 3 take away 1, borrowed, 2 take away 1, check it, 200, 310, yeah, so 130 degrees. So I need to do another 130 degrees coming round, carrying on going in the clockwise direction. So I line up and put a dot down at 130. I know it's coming from Q, so I can get my uh, ruler, line it up with the uh, 310 degree line and because I now know that it's got to meet the other line I can literally just join up to that line I read the question carefully it says mark the position of R with a cross X and label it R so literally going to put X there and label it R so what we've done then is we've measured 310 going in a clockwise direction from north to get that bearing and then we measured 60 degrees from there so we've joined our construction lines and where they join is where the position of the boat is so that's one type of bearings question where you've got to actually draw a bearing onto a picture now this question says the diagram's not being drawn accurately so that is a real big clue that we're not to use a protractor so it's about using our angle rules and recognizing it's still talking about bearings there so we're still having to think about north being north, north, north degrees and whatever measurements we take from the from position they have to be in a clockwise direction and we need to remember there's always three digits in our bearing so we always have three digits in our answers so let's have a look at the information we've been given then so we've got a 70 degree turn there we've got a 40 degree turn there it wants us to find the bearing of Y from X so it's really important we recognize that means that I'm stood at X so the first thing I need to add on to this diagram is a north line which will be parallel to the other north line 
and there's our big clue because this one's not about measuring it's about using angle theories well because we've um, got two north lines which are parallel then we should remember from our angle rules on parallel lines that there's a rule that says the co-interior angles between the parallel lines add up to 180 degrees so if I've been told that one's 70 from the picture then this one must be 110 because those two numbers will add up to 180 so I now know that that's 110 degrees well the idea of a bearing is that we've got to turn from north in a clockwise direction until we're facing the direction we want well that full turn to there to get the bearing with the other two angles will make a full 360 degrees around a point so to get the bearing answer I'll need to do 360 degrees minus 110 degrees minus 40 degrees so that's the same as doing 360 take away 150 degrees and then when I work that out it's 210 degrees <coughs> this has three digits in it already so I've met the conditions of I've turned clockwise from north I'm facing the direction I want to I'm facing Y because it says Y from X so I'm still at X and I've got my three digits 210 degrees so that's bearings.